All right, guys, welcome to chapter two. So this is a key, key, very important chapter. Okay, in case you missed that, this is a really important chapter. Um, this topic, this first one, is pretty easy. It's basically like what we did at the very beginning of the last chapter, um, except with an equal sign. But this whole unit, or this whole chapter, is going to be really, really fundamental for just the rest of your academic career. Anything that involves math, you got to be able to get this stuff. So please, please pay attention on this stuff, all right? If you have any questions, make sure you ask. Um, this is just making sure we're basically speaking the same language, all right? So being able to write equations. So 53 plus 4 times a number b is as much as, all right? That's, so that's like our equal sign, is as much as 21. So that's basically our equation right there. 53 plus 4b equals 21. Later we'll be solving these. The sum of 5 times h, so 5 times h, and twice g, so the sum is plus, so sum of this and this, so plus 2g is equal to, obviously that's our equal sign, 23. All right. Um, one fourth the sum of r and 10. So it says one fourth of this, the sum of r and 10. So one fourth the sum of r and 10. So that means you got to add the 10 first, then take a fourth. Um, is identical to, so that's our equal sign. Oh, come on. r minus 4. Okay, 3 plus the sum of the squares of w and x is 32. So we got equals 32 there. So 3 plus the sum of the squares, so that's w squared would be the square of w. Sum of the squares, so it's saying you square w and square x. So this is the sum of those squares, 3 plus that is 32. Degrees Kelvin K equals 273 plus degrees Celsius. Okay. The total cost of gas is the price per gallon times the number of gallons. All right. So the total cost C is, is our equal sign, the price P so this times this, P times G. Uh, the sum of, uh, can I, there we go. Uh, that didn't look right. All right, the sum of S measures of the, sum of S, sum S, of the measures of the angles of a polygon is equal to 180 times the difference of the number of sides and 2. So difference of number of sides, difference is subtraction. Difference of number of sides, n and 2, so that's n minus 2. And then it's got to be 180 times that. It says the sum s is, so s, this just describes what s is, but there's no math there. Well, no mathematical part of the equation. All right, so those are some examples. These are quite similar, and we'll see you next class.